Hey everyone, it's Eric with FirearmTutorials.com and today we're going to look at some parts that I've purchased for a 300 blackout upper. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, bolt carrier group, I just went with the black nitride, nothing fancy. You know, I, did, I have the nickel bore on them, some of my other guns and, you know, I wasn't overly impressed with it so I just decided to stick with that. Those what, titanium nitride, those gold colored ones, you know, they look cool but that's one of those things where you shoot one magazine through it and then it gets all dirty and then you can't even see that it's gold anymore, so whatever. Um, upper receiver, Ultor, which I've talked about this before and I pronounced it Voltor. Uh, somebody posted a comment on that other video and said that they called the uh, phone number and the recording pronounces it Ultor, so that's what we're working with. We'll go ahead and open it here, I guess. We'll have to open it eventually. But uh, this is pretty much the same exact thing that I used on my last build. You know, it's got that aggressive uh, shell deflector and uh, you still retain the forward assist. Got the new logo here, of course. And uh, these are supposed to be some of the uh, better made uppers on the market just because of the tolerances or whatever. Again, subjective at best, so I went with that. Uh, here we go, the Noveski barrel. Now look at this packaging. Oh, it's so elegant. Reminds me of the Knight's Armament stuff. You get this front sight and it looks like it should be some kind of uh, expensive chocolates boxed in here. So you do get that, okay? And once you open it, the first thing you see, warning, boom, all NFA regulations may apply. So be careful. So we'll go ahead and take this out and it's got this little snake skin condom thing. You can take this off. Maybe you can reuse this and make those little Chinese finger cuffs that all the kids like so much. And uh, got a couple little things to protect the threads and the mouth of the barrel here. So uh, you've got some aggressive feed ramps here, supposedly more aggressive than the regular mill spec. And they are, because I have compared them to uh, like a Smith & Wesson barrel, which they're definitely different. So with this guy, you get uh, bead blast, stainless steel, uh, no chrome lining on this. This is a match barrel, so they don't uh, like chrome for whatever reason. And uh, it comes with the gas block. It's set in place, but it's not pinned. You can see the little hole there. It comes with the pin so you can do it yourself. And uh, you can see the uh, 300 BLK. This is a one in seven twist. And it does come with the uh, pistol length gas tube, the pins to install it, and the break in and cleaning procedures. So make sure you read those if you're gonna buy an expensive barrel like this. You don't wanna go messing it up. Um, that's pretty much it guys. So I went with 10 and a half, thought about going 12 or so, but I figured with this, I'd just go a little bit shorter. I uh, didn't want to go any shorter than 10 and a half. As far as the rest of the build goes, I'm just going to use my registered lower that I have uh, on my 556 five, gun. You've seen that in some of my other videos. The only thing I'm missing at this point really is the handguard. So I looked at the Noveski NSR, which looks cool. You know, you get that key mod, key mod hand guard that goes over here. The only thing that uh, I'm kind of shying away from that is because of the, at least their reviews and information I've found is the diameter of it is, is very small, apparently, uh, I guess, compared to other rails and stuff. So I have 10 and a half inch hands, so I want something obviously a little thicker. So I think I'm leaning at this point again to the Knight's Armament uh, URX4. Uh, it'll probably come in another box like this. So that's it guys. If you have any other suggestions as far as hand guards and uh, anything else I should look at, qu comments, questions, let me know. And thanks for watching.